Ephesians 5.28. He who loves his own wife loves himself. They were trying to back Jesus into the corner. So they came on with some, they thought, really difficult leading questions. This would have been fun to watch. It says, teacher, rabbi, which is the greatest commandment in the law of Moses? Remember how Jesus responded? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. And then he backed them into the corner when he said, and the second is like this. In other words, the second commandment is valuable like this one, which is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. What? I thought I was supposed to love my neighbor the way I love God. No, you destroy the relationship. If you loved your wife the way you love God, your marriage would disintegrate. I'm to love my neighbor as I love myself. My Katie, when she was six years old, my blonde blue eyed, she'd heard me speak in this. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. We're driving home. She says, Daddy, remember what Jesus said? I said, well, what's that? To love your neighbor as you love yourself? I said, yes. No, this is profound. This is better than any theologian I've ever heard. From the mouth of a six-year-old. Now, think of it. She said, Daddy, if you don't love yourself, your neighbor has problems. Wow. That's true. If you don't love yourself, your neighbor has problems. Any young ladies here, I will tell you, as I raise my three daughters, never, ever, 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 ever marry a man who does not love himself because your marriage will be a disaster. I believe the number one reason for Christians getting divorced, was it, which is equal percentage as atheists and agnostics, is because men have never been taught how to love themselves. Therefore, they don't know how to love their wife or their children. The number one reason for divorce, men don't know how to love themselves. Whoa, now that is quite a radical statement, isn't it? But it's biblical. 